dinosaur hoard was found in 1819. It's one of the most important finds for early medieval Scotland, but its discovery was kept a secret even from the landowner. He, when he did find out about it, he tried to recover what he could, and that portion is what survives today, around 170 fragments. Unfortunately, most of the silver was illegally melted down, so it's possible that Pictish silver is floating around in some of the 19th century spoons and table plates and things that were made at the time. And that's one of the themes that runs through this hoard, the constant recycling of silver. One of the reasons why the hoard is unique is because it contains these pairs of objects, a crisp, almost newly made penanula brooch. And here's a very similar brooch that's far more worn and has been repaired. And here are a pair of substantial silver pins, more commonly made in bronze. There are only a few silver examples, but they're found across Britain and Ireland that would have been worn by people in order to show how important they were. And a pair of plaques decorated with Pictish symbols. One of each of these pairs looks to be a copy of the other. This plaque is a direct copy of this plaque. There are areas of damage, for instance, that are reproduced on the copy. Well, we did some analysis of the silver composition. It didn't contain the minor trace elements that we expect antique silver to have. So when we revisited the documentary sources, we found that 20 years after the hoard was found, a local newspaper man called George Buis commissioned copies made in pewter in order to better publicise some of the most iconic objects. We think at the same time as those pewter copies were made, silver copies were also made, and that's what we're looking at in the hoard. This is perhaps one of the most impressive, but poorly understood objects from within the hoard. It's quite a thick silver plate decorated with very high relief spirals and snails. Exactly what this object was, we don't know and we may never know. It's clearly been cut down. These edges are all hacked and presumably it's lost a fourth spiral here. This hoard of silver contains personal objects as well as hacked up silver that shows how this material was being used, cut up, traded, exchanged and turned into the objects that are so important for the period. A lot of the fragments appear to have been folded into small parcels of hack silver and lots of the pieces have broken along the fold lines. So one of the main things is to try and reconstruct what the objects were originally, but the second is to look at their later life, to look at how they've been hacked up, how they've been made into parcels, the sorts of tools that have been used, whether or not standard units of weight are represented amongst the parcels of silver, acting in effect as some kind of currency. The hacked up pieces of silver give us a really important insight into the economy and society and politics of early medieval Scotland. <laughs>